in Times Square. This is GMA. And for so many of us, that means spring cleaning time, a good place to start our beauty cabinets. Dr. Whitney Bow is here to tell us how we know when it is time and what is time to keep or to toss. I am guilty of this, starting with our makeup bag. Right. What is the risk of what's inside? Well, you know, old cosmetics, they can not only look streaky and just not look right on the skin, but they can actually cause inflammation irritation you know the chemicals in these products they change they break down over time and that can result in a rash on the skin but worst case scenario it can give you an infection these products they can all become contaminated i've seen bacteria viruses grow in products that are just kept past their prime and we're going to go product by product but you say the biggest advice don't share especially eye makeup uh, absolutely i mean this the infections are real you can get a sty you can get pink eye um, if you're using a product around the lips, you can get a cold sore on the lips. I've seen patients on their skin develop ulcers, crusts, abscesses. You never share your makeup unless you're willing to share your germs. Okay, that I'm not doing ever again, just what, given what you just said. <laughs> Let's talk about moisturizer right yeah. here. What do we need to know? Okay, so moisturizer, it really comes down to the packaging. So if you've got an airless pump like this one, this you can keep for over a year, but if your moisturizer is in a jar, this you want to toss before a year is up. Why? Mm -hmm. Because every time that you go in and you take a scoop of that product out, you're introducing bacteria from your fingertips into that product. And it's hard to throw these away because so many of them are so expensive you don't want to chuck them. Yeah. Sunscreen, what do we need to know okay. about this? So sunscreen, most sunscreens are actually designed to last up to three years, but that's if they're kept in a cool, dry place. And where do we take our sunscreen? We take it to the beach, we leave it on a hot towel and it's baking in the sun, we throw it in a hot car, those chemicals break down, the product becomes ineffective and then we can actually burn through it or you can end up breaking out and having a reaction on this. Skin. That makes sense. Eye makeup is a danger, can be, right? It can. So a liquid eyeliner, you can keep that up to 12 months. When it comes to an eyeliner pencil, you can actually keep this one until it runs out, you know, with the exception that if that tip starts to turn white or gray, that can be a sign that there's mold in there. So I always say, you know, use the sharpener about like once or twice a week or so because in those shavings, you've got all the mold, all the bacteria will come right off or you can even use alcohol. That's a surprise to me. I thought this is the thing you had to throw out every few months or so. It'll literally say. last until you can't get it anymore. Okay. So totally fine. Let's go over here. We all yeah. have this in our makeup bag and we've got an audience member here. Melissa, you've got a question and you brought your makeup bag yes, with you. So what's inside? So I use this sponge every day to put my foundation and concealer on, but okay. I wonder if there's any risk to it. All right, so reusable sponges, I'm not a big fan. I'm a fingertips girl. Um, this can be a breeding ground for bacteria, but if you're really attached to it, just dispose of it. You know, use the ones that you can re use a new one every two to three mm -hmm. uses. Okay. Is okay. it okay? Is it okay? Are brushes that we use, brushes for foundation also run the same risk? You have to clean those periodically. Okay. So yes, any of those things can end up growing. If you're not actually cleaning them regularly. I like these. You just want to toss it and use a new one and they're not that expensive. So. And you've got one one other thing in there. I have that... a mascara in here that I also use every day. Mascara, toss this every three months. So this is the one you can get really bad eye infections. Okay, great tips. Get, doc, get more of Dr. Bo's beauty tips and a full list of expiration dates on our website. Also coming up, John Krasinski is here live with one of his, his famous wife, Emily Blunt, on their new movie. I'll